Yeah. Because he can jump higher and run faster. That run faster bit is actually uh, quite crucial if you want a, an easy time in the puzzle plant galaxy, which kind of ticked me off because it gives you like one shot at everything. Oh, the one with the uh, falling bridge that you have to wall jump off of. Yeah, and then you you basically have to have to have to suicide if you miss your shot at the green stars because if you miss your shot you can't get the star at all, which is a pain. Not in a bad way. It's like I was too slow. Now I have to accept it. But uh, uh the yeah. one I just remember something that annoyed me when the first playthrough. You know how some of the the second stars in the levels wouldn't show up until after you'd gotten a certain number of stars and then you got a letter? Yeah. So you could do that. I didn't realize that at first, so I spent forever in Boulder Bowl looking for the secret star until I was <laughs> told, oh, you get a message later saying you can go back and get it now. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? How was I supposed to know that? It never hints at any point that that's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> you know what I think? The designers just really, really wanted to avoid people complaining about repetitive, about having to repeat themselves. So they did their absolute best to spread out the stars as much as possible and make it so that if you did have to, re have to repeat a level, a lot of the time you were doing it long after the first time you, uh, you went into the level. Uh, sometimes it's kind of annoying, but... At other times, not so much. Well, I just wish uh, they had told you that. And that was my problem. It's like they didn't tell you. So I spent a long time early on in Boulder Bowl looking for the second, you know, hidden star. And it turns out you're supposed to just get a certain number of stars and then it'll just open up and you can go do it. Yeah, yeah. I actually can't say I ever ran into that problem, but I can't say the thought didn't occur to me when I was playing the game. Most of the hidden stars in this are actually... Uh, Just go to the Hungry Loser and feed them coins. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I always got those hidden stars before the normal stars in whatever well, mission it was. because they're like halfway through the level and you already have enough coins at that point, so you, you know, feed them to them. It's like, you know what a klepto I am, right? Yeah, well, in I, Galaxy, I do the same thing. I in Galaxy 1, I developed this stupid habit of collecting as many coins as possible just because of the high score number. And this meant I was literally stomping every enemy I could. Well, I kept going with that habit in Galaxy 2 in the knowledge that I would actually be able to use the coins for something. And now I find that the Hungry Lumas are eating coins. coins. I, I guess the currency in the Mushroom Kingdom is chocolate coins because otherwise they're eating gold. That's creepy. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I, the, I always got those first and the normal star because they were right there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. There was one time I got to a hungry Luma and I was short of coins. I was literally literally three coins off. They were three very annoying coins because it was in the Clockwork Ruins galaxy. And I had to get, I had to get coins off of this big old rotating platform thing. That was kind of tedious, actually. <laughs> yeah. But, well, at know. least it was at the very start of the level. <laughs> I can imagine people uh, playing this game not consciously grabbing coins along the way and then realizing that they have to farm coins on a, on on a, a later much on, on a pretty much a level, a level basis because you never know when they're going to show up. But, you know, the, the other thing is that this game doesn't really put a whole lot of emphasis on exploration until you get to the Green Stars, and then it's kind of semi-fail exploration. But um, there's, like, a few hidden stars that are actually hidden. Ghost house, I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah, and then there are the ones that are um, just, it, the hu just the Hungry, hungry Lumas. Lumas. So it's yeah. Like, why not just, if it's the Hungry Lumas in every level, just make it a separate star and just go that route when you start the level. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was thinking. But I guess they their their mentality here is collecting the coins as a challenge in itself. I don't know. Even though it's not... <laughs> Even though it's not. Yeah. Then again, I suppose it'd kind of be a wrench to build, to make a, th a, a, th a third, like, completely unique path for them. I would just go halfway through the level and then just put the warp star in a different spot. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The, um, uh, what did you think of Bugaboom's back? Hmm. 
What did you think of Bugaboom's back? Was that different in fighting the boss Bugaboom from the first galaxy with the cloud suit instead of the bee suit? Was that any good, or was that just like that one of the... That was pointless. Things? Utterly pointless. Like, it's even easier with, with the, the cloud suit. suit. You can stand there. <laughs> I get the feeling that they were trying to make it harder with the cloud suit, but it's, it's easier. Not. It's easier. It's insanely easy. It's just why. Just why. Granted, I appreciate them getting him out of the way as a hidden star so he doesn't have to pop up in the Boss Blitz galaxy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Ah, wow. There's, despite the fact that I had a really a big blast of a time playing this game beginning to end, I, there's a lot of nitpicks and complaints you can, you can dig up with this game. Well, that's true with any game. You can do the same for Ocarina of Time, like, which I still think should have been rated higher than Galaxy 2, at least for now. <laughs> at least for now. If, if Galaxy 2 is ama- still just as amazing five to ten years from now, then yes, I can see it being the highest rated game of all time, but Ocarina of Time is still amazing 12 years later. Yeah, well, again, we can't really, we can't really judge that uh, just now. Yet. We have to wait another 12 years to see how that works, but by then I'm sure they'll have brought out a, an even better Mario game that expands on all this stuff in completely amazing ways, mainly uh, because... I'm sure, they're mainly done, because I'm sure they're done with Mario for an for a while, I mean, we've already gotten three full-fledged <laughs> mainly games on because this system. The next, mainly because the, the next uh, generation of Wii is bound to be infinitely better than the first one. Make a damn remote that fucking works. <laughs> yeah. Just build the damn Wii Motion Plus into the first controller and get it right the first time, you know? Or better yet, just copy the Sony Move. <laughs> and, like, they're really trying to, uh... They're really trying to make the uh, Wii Motion Plus, uh... uh a big part of the Wii, I guess, by packaging they have it yet with a new to, one. They have yet to make a game that really fully it's like, utilizes it, though. They're trying to. They're trying to make it. They're trying to put it out there. Is what I'm trying to say. But they haven't made they're, any games they're with it yet. Packaging it. Yeah, I know, but they're packaging it with the Wii now. Well, it's what like, do they do? The only game they've made for that uses it is like Wii Sports the, Resort, which is another like tech demo. They're trying to encourage designers to make it by packaging it with pa- packaging it with the uh, the um, the console, and that's that's the thing. I was when when Wii Mission Plus was was coming out, I was like, there are going to be no games made for this because it's a fucking peripheral, and nobody's going to want to make games for it because not everybody has it. But um, yeah. N- I guess they're trying to make that work. Maybe I don't think it's going to work in time. It's like by the it's like by the time everyone has enough that people are going to be developing for it, the Wii Two is going to be out. <laughs> and Zelda will be delayed for launch of Wii Two. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Uh, I was about to segue into a Twilight Princess ramble, but never mind. No, let's save that for a different. Yeah, another day for the commentary when we inevitably do it. Am I the one recording that? I I, I hope so. I don't know. I'm probably I'm probably it's like you I, don't I, really I, like I it. Like I Twilight kind of like it because my it's my, it was like my first 3D Zelda game, so I kind of liked it. Yeah, conquering of time for me. It's like um, it, it's not very well designed. It's just not. Let's not get into a ramble about the game after saying let's not get into a ramble. <laughs> How long? Let me see. Oh my god, I'm looking at the timer. We've been in this Skype call for an hour and a half almost. Huzzah. Watch half our subscriber base just vanish after we upload this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, final verdict. Let's see. Mario Galaxy 2 on my end sublimely awesome one of my favorite games of all time easily much better than galaxy one best 3d mario game in my humblest opinion yeah how about you um best game on the wii yes definitely the best 3d mario game just surpassing mario 64 it actually improves everything in galaxy one which is good because galaxy one had a lot of problems with it to be perfectly honest so yeah best game on the wii (laughs) Easily. Mm. That's not saying much, granted, but yeah. Considering its only competition is Mario Galaxy 1 and No More Heroes, but... Yeah, well, and if I'm hearing right, Prince of Persia, um, The Forgotten Sands is supposed to be a pretty damn good 
game by Wii standards. By Wii standards. By Wii standards, yeah. It's <laughs> so like, other than that, what do we have? Sonic and the Secret Rings, which is a fucking on-rails platformer with clunky-ass controls, which is decent by Sonic standards, which is practically an asterisk in itself by now. <laughs> it hurts me to say that, old buddy, but yeah. Oh, shall we do a separate ramble on Sonic Colors now? Sure, if we stop the recording and start over. <laughs> Why not? All right, well, thanks for listening. Uh, we'll be sure to do the Sonic Colors later. But thanks for listening to us ramble for an hour and a half on Galaxy 2. <laughs>